and I've been wanting to talk about the story for a while, so I thought today would be very appropriate. Let's start from private school. Now, private school is basically where I got most of my creativity for writing songs back in, I think, 2010. Um, like the song Hot in Dreams was basically back when I got bullied by two kids named Joshua and Arietta. Joshua was basically one of the first bullies that I had encounters with, basically. We called each other names. I think a few punches were thrown. It was mostly by him because back then I never fought back. And, but that thing was like had a short, short period, because we basically had a truce and became friends, you can say. But basically, we just didn't have no, like, interaction. We basically just went our separate. Arietta was the one that brought me to my boiling point, because there were times that I wanted to hit her, but I didn't, there were, like, no opportunities for that, because I was always being watched. Every I was always accused for a lot of things. No one came up to my rescue. I was basically the punching bag. And there were times that she got her big brother to basically defend her in her bad behavior. I don't get why he would actually do that. Because if he knew better, he would probably stop, his, stop her sister. Just the idea of someone taking advantage of that is the worst thing you can do. Now let's actually go forward until I move to another town and went straight to elementary school. Now elementary school was mixed feelings in a way because there were times I did get bullied, I got my hat taken, I made with friends, and then I got betrayed with friends. I, th I think most of them were friends. I don't know if I basically called them friends or assumed they're friends. I was young. I thought I, I, I was nice with everyone. That was the problem. And most people took advantage of that. Most kids insulted me and then basically I just let it be like I soaked it in I didn't do anything about it there were times that people cut me in line and I tried to push them out the way but they didn't they wouldn't let me there was one time where I got into a fight which was with two girls they were laughing at me at one point and me being young I didn't have a defense so I basically just swerved and like put my foot in her rear like it wasn't even hard it was like like that and that apparently aggravated them. The other one that uh, that tried to hit me, I pushed the ground. And then there was one that ran towards me and threw her fists like crazy. And I didn't even fight back. My arms were down, and I, and I just took the hits. A few minutes later, I went to the nurse's office. And it wasn't even a few, like, bruises. It was just, like, mostly hit, uh, hits in the arms. And people were laughing at me, basically, and pointing fingers. And it wasn't far away. It was, like, right in my face, too. And all I did was look down. Getting beat up by a girl and basically people teasing you is the absolute worst thing. And with the result of that, there were times where I became the bully. Like, there was this kid that we're going to call W. Um, w was a kid that I knew and basically bullied. And I didn't even have a reason. I just bullied him for, like, just pleasure or whatever you want to fucking call it. And and then it, and it kept going and kept going, though, and I didn't have no limit. I never stopped at all. There were times that I was cool, then times that I was like, fuck you and all that. Now, that feeling followed me to middle school. And I remember having classes with a guy, and he used to do this, like, pointing fake scream thing every time he saw me. Which, to be honest, I actually don't blame him. I was a huge fucking dick to him. He has all the right to do all this stupid shit. But I remember one time I was having a bad day. And he did that little fake scream. And I literally couldn't handle myself. So I pushed my binder straight to his face. Punched him. And then just walk away. Without even looking back. Remembering the whole thing is kind of hard. Because I only remember walking away. I don't remember punching him. I remember the binder in his face. And that was it. To be honest with you, I didn't learn anything for this fight. But I stopped being to him and we became cool. Now, I went to this middle school that was the fucking worst. I'm not going to say the name. But I'm just going to use the three initials that I used to call it back then. Absolute misguided dipshits. And you would have thought getting beat up by girls or the girl bullying would go away, right? No, because I meet two new girls, and they have lockers next to me. 
girls insulting me, call me gay, faggot, whatever, because I had, like, musicians that were all guys in my locker. There were times, basically, where I basically was pushed against the wall by a girl with a really small temper, and she just pounded me and pounded me. I think the other girl was joining her, and I remember slipping through there and running as fast as I can. I thought the girl was chasing me. I ran straight to the bus, sat down, and just breathed, like, took deep breaths. But there was one thing that happened in middle school that still makes me wonder why. One day I was playing with my dad's razor and I accidentally shaved the hair off this thing. And I went to school, but I hide the thing with a hat. And you know how most schools don't allow hats on? I had to take it off and everyone basically saw this. And I was going to try to laugh it off. I was like, hey, this can't be that bad. As soon as lunchtime hits, people see my thing. And everyone starts to point and laugh at me. I put my head down trying to hide it. Everyone basically sees it. Everyone basically laughs. And I start to cry. Like, literally cry. I felt so bad that I ran to the bathroom, went to the stalls, locked it, and started to cry in my arms. I had a very heavy Transformers hoodie back then, too. So you can imagine me just covering my whole face with my hands, my arms, and my hood. And there were people that were walking in too, and I was like, I I'm not coming out. I mean, just looking back at that day, it's like, why? And it's like, ah, Jesus. But there was one positive, and that was the year where I got my first girlfriend. We met on the bus, basically, and someone, like, threatened, someone said something that was like, I don't want to do that, how about just a kiss on the cheek? Then we started to talk, and we decided that we were basically cool, and we went out at one point. On me being young, I never made a move with her, because I didn't know better, like I didn't know what to do. It felt like we were basically just friends, that, like friends, but we had interests, but we weren't like close in a way. We were, an, uh, that was, it was an interesting relationship, especially the one that lasts for a month. It was the best feeling for me, and I had someone that absolutely cared about, or so I thought. Her friends ruined our relationship. Like, literally, they hated me to oblivion. They called me ugly. They thought that the point of us going out was heinous and disgusting, to the point that they made up a rumor that I was cheating on her with someone else, a girl that I didn't even have a relation with or even have contact with. I said no a million times that this is not true, and the girl, uh, the, her girlfriend's just kept egging it on. She said, he's lying, he's lying, he's lying. And the problem was, the problem that actually really pissed me off is that she believed them. Even though the whole thing was false and I said, I'm not cheating on you, she ended up believing them. And it's not like I put more effort into it. I just said no, and I didn't even say like anything all that, like I, she, they were insulting me, they hate me. It was like, I can't blame her for choosing their side because I didn't give enough effort to even like defend myself. But, Jesus, like, looking back at it, it's like, it's, we were both in the wrong. I couldn't defend myself. And if I didn't say anything that they hated me, I didn't say they insulted me, they, like, said a bunch of things, and I didn't tell her anything about it. But the point that she chose their side over me was the saddest thing. Especially knowing, because she likes me, and the thought that I would cheat on her, basically, is, like, the worst thing that you can think of. And Jesus Christ, I felt broken. The let alone know, this is my first relationship, and the fact that her friends went out of their way to destroy it is, like, beyond me, like, and, and the bad thing is, I wasn't even, like, that cruel back then. I mean, that bully thing, thing that, thing with, with Kay followed me, but, Kay followed me, but at least days later we had a truce and I knew I was in the wrong but but this you're basically tearing someone down you broke someone's heart and I felt broken for days 
I went on a rampage, like, I went into a word war and I called her names and said things that I wish I could take back. People were saying nasty things about her, said, oh, it's not true, she's a beautiful person, and then after we broke up, I said, damn it, I should have listened to them, she's fucking this and fucking that. Days later, still middle school, she kind of forgave me in a way. I became friends with her on Facebook, and that was the end of it. And the worst thing is, I don't even think I liked her. Like, the love felt so forced that I don't even think there was love there to begin with. Word of advice, if you go into a relationship, never go into a relationship just to be in a relationship. It is not going to end well. And this is from experience. I was so all over the place, though, that I didn't even know what to do with myself. I went through so much that suicide came to mind a lot. We got about three times, too. Because I felt super alone. I felt like no one even cared about me. There were times that even my own friends were betraying me. Moving tables so I didn't have to sit at lunch. But my suicidal thoughts went down when I started at high school. Yeah, I was insulted and called things like that, but I'm kind of used to it now. But the sad thing is I still felt alienated from other people, especially past elementary school people. I waved high, but they never waved high back. They basically just looked at me and said nothing. Even my past girlfriend didn't say anything to me, and I said hi to her a couple times. People that I used to know don't even say hi to me. They ignore me or basically just like, Ugh. but it's whatever. I did get into my second fight, and I actually succeeded. And let's just say I left marks on the kid. But then I moved schools for various reasons. And once I moved into alternative high school, I felt so much better. I found people that understood me, people that had the same interests as me, and like people that actually I talked to better, whether it was funny or serious or stuff like that. But that's a different story for another time.